Hello my belly dancing queens and welcome to the Golden Owl Belly Dance channel. Tonight I would like to share with you one of the most basic and also one of my most favorite moves in belly dance, the chest circle. The chest circle is a wonderful stretch if you're tired after a long day at work, especially if you're sitting at your desk all day long, if you have been driving for a long time or if you're playing for a long time, you can do it right in your seat and it's going to open up your entire back upper back and at the time of the lower back. And it's also a great exercise for your obliques and for your abdominal area. So, first of all, let us always remember that in belly dance, our knees are always soft, a little bit narrow the shoulder, the shoulder distance apart. So, soften your knees. Perfect. And then remember the isolation principle in the belly dance. When we're moving our torso, we're not moving anything below the waist and the other way around. Since this exercise is the torso exercise for the upper body, just imagine that you don't have anything below your waist, as if you are buried in the sand and you cannot move. So we're only moving uh, everything just above our waist, not below, not below our waist. So let's get ready. Knees soft, perfect. And then chest up, Shoulders roll to the back and chin up. This is our basic belly dance posture. So now let's imagine that you have that you are attached by a thread to the ceiling, and the seat and the thread goes all the way to the ceiling, and it's attached on the other end to your solar plexus right here. The chest circle consists of two different moves: of chest lift and of chest slide. We're going to practice a chest lift first. So imagine as if somebody is pulling you up towards the ceiling and your solar plexus is going up. So you pull up towards the ceiling and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. This is how it's going to look from the side. So your back is going to arch. But you're not moving anything below your waist. Up and down. Up and down. It should already start feeling really nice. Perfect. Make sure that you're going completely straight. Up and down, you're not moving right or left. Not yet. Great. Now, let's try to do a chest slide. Chest slides could be a bit more challenging because you're not allowed to move anything below your waist. So put your feet a little bit um, wider than shoulder distance apart and sit down. And now, Imagine that you're just sliding your chest, your rib cage, to the right, parallel to the floor, and to the left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Make sure that you're not going diagonally up or down. You're just going parallel to the floor, right, left, right. And you're not moving your hips. And now it's time to combine the chest lift and the chest slide moves into a chest circle. So we're gonna start with the chest lift up, then slide to the right, chest down, slide to the left, and up again. Right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right. Now try to make pretty much like uh, instead of just doing the point, make it a nice and smooth circle. Do you feel your back opening up? The stress is melting from your body. Relax. Let your arms close. Your hands close. Down. Relax. Perfect. Perfect. Now let's try to go into the opposite direction, which if you are a right-handed person, it's going to be harder for you. And then the other way around, if you're a left-handed person, this one should have been harder for you already. So let's start going, uh, first we're going left, so you're going, I'm sorry, you're going, going for the chest lift, going up, instead 
instead of going to the right, you're going to the left. And then down, right, up, left, down, right, up, left, down, right. And make it nice and smooth. Slow. Make it slow. Slow. You will notice that the area is opening up in your abdominals and in your rib cage. More area for you to breathe that you never even knew existed. And you will feel all the muscles in your back stretch. Perfect. And now let's try to change the tempo a little bit. So we'll do four slow chest circles to the right and then four fast chest circles to the right. And then the same on the left hand side. Let's try it. Let's go for slow. Up. Right, down, slow. One, then try to go fast. One, two, three, four, and slow to the left. One, two, three, four, fast to the left. One, two, three, four. Again, slow to the right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and again, slow, left, one, two, three, four, and go fast, one, two, three, four, and last but not least, let's try to walk with a chest circle, which is always fun. Now, how do you actually do uh, traveling steps and walking or performing different moves in belly dance? I call it belly dance zombie walk. In order to do anything in belly dance and walk, you have to make tiny little steps, tiny little steps with your feet flat on the floor like this. So it's almost like a zombie walk. Okay, so let's practice the zombie walk without doing anything else. So feet flat on the floor, you're just walking forward and then coming back in the same manner. So let's try to do the same thing what you're going to do is going to do the slow chest circle to the right and the walk. I'm going to keep my feet like open face so you see what my legs are doing. So let's go. Start. One, two, three, and four. And coming back to the left. One, two, three, and four. Golden Hours, Better Day. I hope you will have a wonderful rest of the day. Ciao.